Today was our Halo's Infinite uh, review, well not review, campaign, gameplay, premiere, and I'm actually really excited to watch it. Now I live in Japan, so the video was shown in, uh, it was like a 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern time, but in Japan it was um, it was 1 a.m. So I watch it. I remember watching it. I kind of fell asleep, not because I'm criticizing the the event, but because I was hanging out. And I was actually pretty tired. So as you can see, I I kind of click on it and I started watching it. But I want to like record my reactions now that I'm fully awake. Um, yeah, it's been 11 hours. I can see that. So it hasn't been that long. Uh, from what I saw, it looked pretty, pretty smooth, <clears throat> which is something that I'm looking forward to. Like, um, I like the way I can play Doom. Um, I like Halo. I play Halo in a semi-competitive level, not really trying really hard, but like I understand and I'm very passionate of the competitive play style. So I'm looking forward to the multiplayer, but I understand that's not going to be shown here. Um... I'm actually kind of like a a Halo campaign noob. I really love the campaign, and I play like all the Halo games. And Halo Four was like one of my favorites in terms of campaigns, and of course the classics ones, right? Halo One, Two, and Three, yeah, they're awesome. Um, Halo Five was like the gameplay for the campaign was kind of smooth, but the story was like really, really a downgrade for me, like. I wanted to play as chief and I couldn't I didn't get to play as chief I don't know why Microsoft did that mistake again um, they did it with Halo 2 but in Halo 2 you play a lot of chief and the Arbiter which was kind of cool um, yeah but in this game it's like uh, sorry in Halo 5 was you were playing as Locke for like 70% of the game or more this is kind of frustrating so I'm, I'm looking forward, I want to like pay more attention to the cinematics because I was like really sleepy and drunk yesterday. Um, so I can pay attention to details. So I'm going to be showing my cam now and I'm going to put it in full screen. Uh, my setup is a 1440p. So yeah, you can see that. Let's watch it. I mean, I'm going to join this. Okay. Oh wow, so they show like like the initial of the demo. May twenty eighth. That's actually my birthday. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh wow. Let me increase the volume. No. No. No 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 no. This isn't happening. I'm going to have to make an emergency landing. Hold on, shit. So they're actually keeping the same character as the reveal. The guy that saves Chief. No! Get no! You! I can't stand this! Who oh, you are? Breathe. No! You don't get to tell me Looks what to do. Pretty clean. You don't get to tell me anything! We're Are you even listening? I count three anti-aircraft cannons. Three what? You'll be safe here. Oh. I'll be safe. <laughs> safe? I haven't been safe since I found you. <clears throat> I found you, remember? You were out there on your own, and you'd still be out there if it wasn't for me. I thought I was going home. There won't be a home if we don't stop the banished. Oh, wow. You keep saying that. We're outgunned, outnumbered. Banished. I know I saw condors over there. I'm going to dig through them and find one with the working sleep space drive. And when you're done with this war, we'll get away from here. Far away. Wait here. I understand oh. uh, Halo's lore, Please. kind of, because I play all the Halo Let games. See what I can find. But Cannons first. I can see why people will be I like super back. excited to hear the Banished, and for me it's like, oh wow, who are they? I really don't know that much about it. Okay, big guy. I also have a feeling that um, they're showing this new character a lot, so that they can actually show. The graphical capabilities because Chief is always wearing a mask. You know, not a mask, a helmet, my bad. Oh. Looks pretty detailed. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
But these guys are always so easy to kill and funny. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll do a reaction video in Japanese or in Chinese. The graphics looks pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of a, of a Halo 1 vibe where you're like thrown in a map and figure your way out. Kind of had that feeling of like when I played Halo 1 for the first time. Oh wait, what? I didn't pay attention to that yesterday. Oh my god, there's actually a map. That's what my friends were talking about when they said like open world. Oh, that's hot. Looks pretty clean. Seems like he's playing in like easy mode because like two grenades and he didn't die. He's taking heavy fire and not dying. Oh wait. So now they're showing the shield and like a yellow bar. Just like Halo, like the all Halo games. Oh my god, that's cool. Oh, there we go. Get stick it, bro. Oh, like a bubble shield like in Halo 3. Oh, that's that's nice. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw I, I remember seeing that yesterday. I was drawing. I was like, wait, what? But now you can see it looks pretty clean. It does seem that it leaves you vulnerable. So like in the competitive playstyle. Um it'll be interesting how you can apply that, right? Because you're like if you use a hook shot, you're like leaving yourself vulnerable. Uh it'll be cool if you can use it for like grappling like walls, or, like making cool jumps and shit. That would be nice, but um, for like actually competitive playstyle, as in like fighting someone like that, I don't know if that'll be good. Maybe. I remember those. Oh, this gun looks, looks hype as fuck. Oh my god, I like that. I like this gun. Yeah, kind of like a BR, like three shots. Brup, brup, brup. I wonder how noob, noob friendly this game will be. I did remember reading that the developers were saying that they wanted to like make an accessible Halo, like like a sort of reboot for like new players. Oh, oh damn! Yes, yeah, so you can actually use it for. Oh, I like that. You can actually grab like moving your environment with that. Ooh. Oh, that will. This will definitely make the competitive gameplay a lot different and more more of oh, you can move a lot more you have more freedom nice it's like shotgun shotgunning everyone Oh, that range reminds me of, of like playing Doom. Just chuck on everything in your in your path. Okay. Three. I fell asleep yesterday. It's like I didn't rem I don't remember any of this. I thought it was kind of chore, but oh, that's that's nice.
is already under our control. I like this. They Soon actually raised the stakes here. As well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary. Lord. No challenge for you. Right. Here you now stand. This is my last fight. A true test of legends. Our story will outlive us both. The character models. Your heart, Spartan. Wow. Fight hard. Die well. I don't know how I feel about this. Wait, that's it? So... No re date reveal? No release date? Oh... Oh my god. That was kind of underwhelming at the end. The gameplay looks sharp. I really, really enjoy the gameplay. Like, it really looked super clean. But I am kind of worried about... Um, I don't know, I feel like they didn't try too hard to like... Do a super hype trailer to like get everyone on board. And I was expecting like big guns here. Like, I mean, this is their uh, franchise. Like, Halo is the franchise that sells Xbox games. And um, it was kind of lackluster. In their defense, we're during the COVID times. Um, so, I mean, there's that, they, they, they can't do that much. You know, everyone's working from home probably. Uh, but this game has been in development for a long time. So let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good. I love the weapons. Uh, the graphics are kind of more in line with like Halo 1. So it's a throwback. I like that. I like the armor, the way it looks. It looks more greeny rather than realistic, which is okay. I mean, I can deal with that. Um... So, I like the gameplay being smooth. Also, keep in mind that this is a an open world. So, I, I, when I saw the world map, it was huge. It's incredible. And keeping a frame rate like that, with the graphics that it, we were shown, it's pretty amazing. Um, um, there are other games that are open world. And... Um, but it didn't move as smooth as this game. Like this game, there's a lot of shit happening in the crossfire. Um, so I like that. I like the hookshot. I think a hookshot will be good for competitive gameplay. Um, so I'm excited to see that. I, li I like movement options. I really love movement options. Uh, I think they're very important. Um, they, that uh, movement options in the game uh, creates a ceiling for like high level play and basic level play and I, I'm a fan of that like you know it's really really good um, in terms of how to say in terms of gameplay I'm like a hundred percent sold um, in terms of the trailer it's kind of weak they had like uh, this uh, I guess that's the leader of the banished seems like he's by himself uh, so it's gonna be probably an open world game where you are he, he commands the, the Covenant or I don't know the name of the Covenant right now, but yeah and um, So yeah, you kind of have to like probably do a lot of different mission objectives and Try to take him down, but there was a lot of exposition a lot of exposition that um, I don't think was needed for this type of trailer um, I like the graphics at the end, like the model. He looks very intense, 
But at the same time, I could tell look kind of fake, like kind of I don't know buggy. Um, so it's a mixed bag for me. Gameplay A, trailer kind of weak. No multiplayer, no release date. Come on, man. <laughs> We're in July. This this console is releasing in what in a couple months, and we still don't know the release date. Um, I guess because this game is launching with the Xbox Series X, and they're trying to play uh, cat and mouse with Sony, so maybe that's why they're being more conservative. But overall, I love Halo. I'm gonna buy this game. Um, it's really really looking clean, crisp. And smooth that's all I care about uh, I wanted to see the BR I couldn't see the BR uh, and I hope they can show like a weapons trailer maybe next month I'll be really cool yeah well anyway that's it um, it's right now 1 p.m. in Tokyo and probably if you're watching from America uh, it's like you guys are probably sleeping right now <laughs> it's funny right it's a different time zone but I hope that now that Halo is going to be on PC, I hope that actually uh, more players uh, from Japan, from Europe, from Australia get to play Halo. Because um, Halo has always been like a US only and parts of Europe because it was on the Xbox. But now that we're going to have uh, a game on PC, and I live in Japan, so I, I have my gaming PC. So I have the Xbox app, and I, I should, I've been playing Halo 3, but it's kind of hard to find matches because of that. So it'll be really cool if the Japanese players get into it, right? Then I'll, I'll be able to like host tournaments, build a community here in Tokyo. I would love to do that. Um, so let's see what happens, right? Well, I'm signing out. Uh, thanks for joining my uh, Halo Infinite reaction video. I'll be making more content for video games and tournaments because uh, I play Smash Brothers so I do uh, tournaments for Smash in Tokyo okay so I'm Guiding Gamer I'm signing out see you guys